सहना भवतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वी तमस्तु मिषावह ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ वी स्टडिंग द कमेंट्री ऑफ भगवत पाद शंकराचार्य देव ऑन द ब्रह्म सूत्र टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द ट्वेल्थ सूत्र विच इज ट्वेल्थ सूत्र ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फर्स्ट पाद एंड सिक्स अधिकरण द सूत्र इज आनंदमयो अभ्यास आनंदमयो अभ्यास आनंदमय अभ्यास सो हियर द उपनिषद द उपनिषदिक स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम द तैत्रीय उपनिषद इज बीइंग डिस्कस्ड The statement is Anyontara Atma Ananda Mayaha. So this is the portion where Atma is being talked about, where different parts of body. is also talked about in relation to atman and the imagery of a bird is given where brahma pucham pratishtha brahman is like the tail this is also told means it is the substratum it is the it is the foundation of everything that is the idea so anandamay the word anandamay which occurs in the statement anyontara atma anandamay found in the taitri upanishad that anandamay whether it is jeevatma or whether it is paramatma whether it is brahman or whether it is in individual soul that is the question and that is answered by the next word abhyasat abhyasat means because of repetition abhyasa means repetition abhyasat because of repetition what repetition the word ananda has been repeatedly in various scriptural sentences that means sentences in the shruti that means sentences in the open in the upanishads has been repeatedly used to refer to brahman so ananda the word ananda has been repeatedly used to refer to brahman that is why the word ananda here आनंदमय हियर रेफर्स टू ब्रह्मन नॉट टू जीवात्मा सो इट इज नॉट आनंदमय कोशा सो वी हैव फाइव शीट्स और फाइव कोशाज वी नो मे बी फाइव लेयर्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस अन्नमय कोशा प्राणमय कोशा मनोमय कोशा विज्ञानमय कोशा एंड आनंदमय कोशा so here anandamay does not refer to this layer of ignorance it refers to brahman itself that is the idea it refers to brahman itself why is that so because abhyasat because it has been repeatedly used in that sense in various spiritual or scriptural or upanishadic statements so we go to the commentary of bhagavad pada shankaracharya deva taitriya ke annamayam pranamayam manomayam vijnanamayam cha anukramya amnayate tasmad va etasmad vijnanamayat anyontara atma anandamayah 
iti in the taitri upanishad in the second chapter fifth section we have taitriya ke annamayam taitriya ke in the taitri upanishad annamayam annamaya kosha pranamayam pranamaya kosha manomayam manomaya kosha vigyanamayam vigyanamaya kosha cha anukramya having to talked of this in this in this order amnayate it is being told it is being told by the shruti tasmat va etasmat vigyanam tasmat va etasmat vigyanamayat anyontara atma anandamaya so it is being talked of in the shruti that tasmat va etasmat vigyanamayat so therefore different from this vigyanamaya etasmat vigyanamayat anya different from this vigyanamaya kosha anya different antara atma anandamaya the atma which is beyond that or subtler than that is anandamaya like that is told so that is why the cause of confusion you see because all the other koshas are being referred to and then atma anandamaya is being told so one might naturally presume that this anandamaya is referring to anandamaya kosha tatra samshaya there there is a confusion or a doubt kim iha anandamaya shabdena parama eva brahma uchyate yat prakritam satyam jnanam anantam brahma iti kim va annamayadivat brahmanah arthantaram iti so there is this doubt kim iha anandamaya shabdena whether shabdena by this word iha this anandamaya shabdena this word anandamaya by this word parameva brahma uchyate the supreme brahman alone is talked of indeed whether this word refers to supreme brahman yat prakritam which has been described as satyam jnanam anantam brahma in the taitriya upanishad itself in the second chapter first part satyam jnanam anantam brahma truth or existence jnanam knowledge anantam infinite so it's infinite knowledge infinite or brahman is truth it is knowledge and it is infinite so that which has been talked of like this which has been explained like this whether this ananda through this anandamaya word that brahman is referred to kimva or whether annamaya divat just like the other koshas starting with adi starting with annamaya and so on brahmanah arthantram iti arthantra means the other meaning that is arthantram other meaning what we have seen shankaracharya says bhagavata shankaracharya says that brahman can be understood in two ways one is seen through the nama rupa vikara name form and modification and the other one which is without any of this upadi so brahmana arthantaram means a different kind of brahman that is the brahman which is with name form and modification that means brahman as seen through the eyes of ignorance so whether it refers to that that means whether it is referring to annamaya kosha or whether if it, it is referring to brahman kim tavat praptam kim tavat praptam
ब्रह्मण अर्थातर अमुख्य आत्मा आनंदमय सो so, then kim tavat praptam what is it that which we are getting here or deriving here what is the understanding we are deriving here brahmanah arthantaram amukhya atma anandamay hasya that we are understanding so this is a opposition this is the stands of the purva paksha that is the opponent party who is not advaita vedanti advaita vedanti who does not follow advaita vedanta so what is told here it is told that brahmanah arthantram amukhya atma anandamaya sya that brahmanah arthantram that which is different from brahman or the other meaning of brahman that is amukhya atma that means atma which is jivatma we call it atma as seen through ignorance anandamaya syat that is anandamaya because that is what is referred to by the word anandamaya this is the objection kasmat how can you derive this conclusion annamayaadi मुख्यात्म प्रवाह पति तत्वा बिकॉज अन्नमयादि अमुख्य आत्मा प्रवाह पति तत्वा अमुख्य बिकॉज इन दट प्लेस अदर आत्मा दट इज अदर कॉन्सेप्शन ऑफ आत्मा दट इज अदर शीट्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस हैव बीन टोल्ड or have been talked of like annamaya starting from annamaya so in that series annamaya pranamaya manomaya vigyanamaya etc have been talked of and that is where this is referred so it naturally stands to reason that this also refers to jiva individual soul amukhya atma amukhya atma means which is not the important which is not the main atma that means which is jiva which is illusion atha api syat sarvantaratvat anandamayo mukhya eva atma iti so here the opposition is being replied by the vedantin advaita vedantin सी अथ अभी सैट इज ऑलसो सर्वांतरवा आनंदमय मुख्य एव आत्मा सर्वांतर सी देर देर दिस वर्ड हज कम इन द अन्य अंतर आत्मा इट इज इंडलिंग आत्मा अंतर आत्मा so there it has been already told antara atma so it is indwelling and because atma is sarvantara it is all pervading that is why anandamaya should refer to mukhya atma mukhya atma means the main that is atma which is brahman the ultimate principle so that that it should it should refer to that because the word antara is used and because atma is all pervading it is indwelling everywhere it is indweller of everything it should refer to that so immediately the purva paksha again objects na syat no it cannot be so it cannot be that the word anandamaya refers to brahman or main atman mukhya atma why priyadi avayava yogat sharirattva shravanat cha because as i told you the context here is the section deals with different it connects the word the word atma with different organs and also it talks about something being 
dear to Atma. Tasya priya meva shira hai, etc. So the head is dear to it. So there is something which denotes likes and dislikes. Also there are connections with Atman, with various organs of the body. So priyadi avayava yogat shariratva shravanacha. So because different avayava parts are connected with the body and these parts are said to be dear to Atman or these parts are liked by Atman. That is what Shravanath because these things have been told in the Upanishad, in the Upanishad, in the Shruti. Therefore, it cannot be that the word Atma, Ananda Mayaha refers to Brahman. So this is the opponent view. Mukhyaha Ched Atma Ananda Mayaha Syat Na Priyadi Samsparshaha Syat Mukhyaha Ched Ananda Mayaha Atma. If indeed the word Ananda Maya referred to the main Atman, Mukhya Atma means Brahman. If it referred to Brahman, then Na Priyadi Samsparshaha Syat there would be no contact with like, etc. That means priya, likes and dislikes, etc. Ihatu, however, here, tasya priyameva shiraha ityadi shruyate. Shruyate, the shruti says, tasya priyameva shiraha. It's dearest or it likes head, or its dearest is head. Shariratvam cha shruyate. Also, here the Shruti or the Upanishad also declares embodiment. Shariratvam means the connection or the fact of being in a body. So embodiment, how? Tasyesha eva sharira atma yaf pur vasya iti so tasyesha eva sharira atma how this atma eva sharira atma this is anandamaya atma and it is the body of Purvasya, that before it. So before Anandamaya Atma comes Vijnanamaya. So it is the body of Vijnanamaya or it is covering Vijnanamaya. It is covering Vijnanamaya or Vijnanamaya is inside this Anandamaya. That is the meaning. So definitely that means a body is contemplated for Brahman. If body is contemplated for Brahman, that means definitely this is not the ultimate reality because ultimate reality Brahman does not have any body. It does not have any part. Tasya purvasya vijyanamayasya esha eva sharira atma Ya esha ananda maya ityartha. So further, Bhagavad Pada Shankaracharya Deva explains that Upanishadic sentence. He says, Tasya Purvasya means that before it. It means here Ananda Maya. So before it, Vijnana Mayasya Eva. Vijnana Mayasya Esha Eva. So of Vijnana Maya, this indeed, Sharira Atma is the Sharira Atma means that is the body of Vijnana Maya, which is before Ananda Maya. Ya Esha Ananda Maya That which is Ananda Maya is the embodied 
form of vijnana maya that is the meaning of this ityartha that is the meaning of this upanishadic sentence all this is opponent saying nacha sa sharirasya satah priya apriya samsparsha vare itum shakya so earlier it was told that you see there is this word that it is dear to it or it likes this how can brahman which is infinite like anything so this is not brahman it is not brahman anandamaya here does not refer to brahman this is the purva paksha argument now another argument is Nacha sa sharirasya sataha. Indeed, sa sharirasya sataha. If one has a body or having a body, priya 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 apriya, priya apriya samsparsaha na varayitum shakya. It is not possible, shakya, not na shakya, not possible to varayitum, to remove or to do away with priya apriya samsparsha connection with likes and dislikes if there is a body then definitely there will be contact with like and dislike there will be contact with like and dislike so swami vivekananda he took a body so when you took a body then automatically you will get diabetes this is what is understood now. Great finding. So Swami Vivekananda suffered with diabetes so much. Hmm. So you take a body, all the properties of the body will come. All the diseases also will come. Priya Priya. Swamiji liked hot tea. Hot means hot, really hot. Like boiling hot. So once is disciple Swami Virajananda he took tea just from the stove and he gave it to him. It was boiling practically. Tea was boiling. And Swami Vivekananda he threw, Swamiji threw away the tea. He said, what cold water you are bringing in. So we don't understand the ways of Rishis. The idea is the moment Swami Vivekananda takes up a body, he will have likes and dislikes. He will have likes and dislikes. Because that is the nature of body. That is the nature of body. He will have likes and dislikes. So here also that is what the objection is told. And if there is a body, because we see that this Upanishadic statement talks about embodied state, if there is body, definitely it will have likes and dislikes. Tasma, therefore, samsare eva anandamaya atma. Samsari eva anandamaya atma. The anandamaya atma is indeed samsari. That means it repeatedly takes births, birth and repeatedly dies. That is indeed this Anandamaya Atma. Iti evam prapta idam uchyate Anandamaya Maya Abhyasat. So we have come to this conclusion. Hmm. Iti evam prapta. The Purva Paksha has come to this conclusion and having received that kind of objection, idam uchyate, the Advaita Vedanti says this. Anandamaya abhyasat, that it is Anandamaya means it refers to Brahman because of repetition. So the sutra has been told here to refute the, the opposition, the argument of the opposition. Parayeva atma Anandamaya bhavitu marhati. Bhavitu marhati, it is definitely, it should be or it behoves that Atma, the Anandamaya word refers to indeed refers to Supreme Soul. Kutaha, how can one say 
abhyasat how does it refer to the supreme brahman because of repetition repetition abhyasat abhyasa repetition abhyasat because of repetition parasmin neva hi atma atmani ananda shabda hai bahu kritvo abhyas abhyasyate so here what is it told parasmin eva hi atmani so in paramatma indeed in supreme atman it is in supreme atman alone that the word ananda has been bahu krutvo bhyasyate it has been bahu krutvo bhyasyate many times it has been used to mean the supreme atman only in the case of supreme atman has it been used many times that is the idea bahu krutvo bhyasyate आनंदमय प्रस्तुत रसो वै सह तस्व उक्त उच्य से रसम ही एव अयम लब्ध्वा आनंदी भवती सो आनंदमय प्रस्तुत आफ्टर हैविंग प्रेजेंटेड आनंदमय रसो वै सह by saying that statement raso vai saha indeed it is rasa tasya eva rasatvam uktva uchyate telling its rasatvam telling its rasatvam uchyate its rasatvam means the supreme brahman's rasatva uchyate the upanishad says रसम ही एव अयम लब्ध्वा आनंदी भवती इंडीड इट इज अटेनिंग लब्ध्वा दिस रस दट दट पर्टिकुलर सुप्रीम सोल आनंदी भवती बिकम्स फुल ऑफ ब्लिस एंड ऑल्सो फर्दर को ही एव अन्यात कफ प्राण्यात यदेश आकाश आनंदो न सैत एष ही एव आनंद याति सो यद एक यद एष आकाश आनंदो न सैत इफ दिस आकाश इफ दिस सुप्रीम ब्रह्मन which is all pervasive akasha space all pervasive ananda nasyat so that bliss if it were not there ko hi eva ay ko hi eva anyat kaf pranyat so the idea is that if there was no bliss blissful brahman all pervasive blissful brahman then from where would one khi eva anyat kaf pranyat esha hi eva ananda yati so then how would one endeavor put effort how would one live if there were no akasha or ananda all pervasive blissful brahman so that is why esha hi eva ananda yati indeed this supreme soul itself is getting us bliss the supreme soul itself is getting us bliss उपनिषदेशनंदमीसा 
Now there is an analysis of this bliss. Etam anandamaya matmanam upasankramati. So also further it is said, this anandamaya matmanam upasankramati, that this wise people, wise person, attains to that anandamaya atma, blissful atma. Anandam Brahmano Vidva Nabibeti Kutaschana Iti Anandam Brahmano Vidvan Nabibeti Kutaschana Iti. So a person knowing Anandam Brahmanaha Brahman, knowing that blissful Brahman Na Kutaschana Bibeti does not fear anyone. Again, Taitri Upanishad. Anando Brahmeti Vyajanat. So, always know that Ananda is Brahman. Know that Ananda is Ananda means bliss, is Brahman. Shruti Antarecha, also in a different Shruti, means a different Upanishad. Here it is Brihadarnik Upanishad. Vijnanam Anandam Brahma. So what is being proved here? The thing is that this word Anandamaya is referring to Brahman Abhyasat because of repetitions. It's not here that it's not just here that Anandamaya word has been used in a context and in a place of the text where it leads to confusion. It might be other places. Many places are there like that. And also Anandamaya has been used to mean Brahman not just in this place, in many places. That is what Abhyasat, because of repetition. So now what we should do? We should collect all the statements of the, of the Upanishads where Ananda or Anandamaya refers to Brahman. So then we can show enough proof. Again, it is like a courtroom. In the courtroom, Suppose there is a law, there is some particular law which is tricky. There are many, many such laws which are difficult to interpret. What does the law mean here? So for that, what do the lawyers do? They will cite cases. It's called case law. So they will say in so-and-so versus so-and-so in such and such court, in such and such year, it was decided that this should be interpreted like that. Okay. So then the judge will say, hmm, okay, very good. The judges of the high court and the decision was from Supreme Court, the judge will say, okay, okay, I accept. If the judges of the high court and the judgment is of high court of some other state, the judge will say, oh, what do these people know? I will put my also. Something like that on those lines. So that means you gather more evidence to support your standpoint. Here the same thing is being done. Shruti Antarecha, also in a different Shruti. Here now it is Brihada Nikopanishad. Vijnanam Manandam Brahma. So Brahman is Vijnanam, conscious or intelligent. Anandam, bliss, full of bliss. Iti Brahmani eva ananda shabdaha drishtaha. So here also it is only in the case of Brahman or for Brahman in reference to, with reference to Brahman that the word ananda has been used. Evam in this manner ananda shabdasya bahukritvo brahmani abhyasat anandamaya atma brahmeti gamyate. So in this manner ananda shabdasya of the word ananda Bahurutvo, Bahukritvo means many times it has been used. Brahmani Abhyasat. Repetitively, it has been used repeatedly. It has been used in the meaning of Brahman. Because it has been used like that, Anandamaya Atma Iti Brahma Iti Gamyate. That is why we have to understand this particular. particular word Anandamaya 
Atma, Anandamaya Atma, as this particular phrase, Anandamaya Atma, as Brahma iti Gamyate. Gamyate, we understand. It has to be understood. We understand that it is Brahman. Yattu Uktam. But also something has been already told in the opposition's remarks. What? Annamayadi Amukya. Uh, Annamayadi Amukya Atma Pravaha Patitatvat Anandamayasya Api Amukyatvam Miti. So it has been already told that because this Anandamaya comes in the series of Annamayadi, starting with Annamaya, Amukya Atma Pravaha, in the series of the flow of Amukya Atma, that is not the main Atman, that is Jivatma, Patitatvat, because it comes there, it occurs there, Anandamayasya Api, Amukhyatvam Iti. So here also, as far as Anandama is concerned, that also refers to Jivatma. It has been told like that. That is the objection by the Purva Paksha Na Asav Dosha. So this is not a problem. This is not a defect in our logic. How Anandamayasya Sarvantaratvat because Anandamaya is all-pervading Anandamaya is all-pervading. It is Anandamaya Atma is inside everything. It is all-pervading. Mukhya meva hi atmanam upadidishu upadidikshu shastram loka buddhi manusarat annamayam shariram anatmanam atyanta muranam atmatvena prasiddham anudya Mosha nishikta drutatam radi pratima vatta vat tataha antaram tataha antaram ityavam purvena purvena samanam uttaram uttaram anatma anatmanam atma iti grahet pratipati saukari apekshaya sarvantaram mukhyam anandamaya atmanam upadidesh upadidesh eti shlishtadaram. <coughs> so here it has been explained. What is explained? Mukhya meva hi atmanam upadidikshu shastram. So upadidikshu means desirous of teaching. Desirous of giving Upadesha. That is Upadi Dikshu. A person who is desirous of, like Mumukshu is a person who is desirous of Moksha. This is a person who is desirous of Upadesha, of giving Upadesha. So indeed, Shastram, Shastram means here scripture or Vedas. It desires to teach about Brahman. Mukhyameva he Atmanam. Indeed, main Atman. Main Atman means Brahman. It wants to teach, desires to teach. But Loka Buddhi Manusarat, according to Anusarat, according to Loka Buddhi, according to the understanding or intelligence of common masses. Annamayam shariram anatmanam atyanta muranam atmatvena prasiddham. So, what does it do? Popularly, going by the popular understanding, loka buddhi, popular understanding or common understanding. Annamayam shariram anatmanam atyantam atyanta muranam atmatvena prasiddha. In the atyanta muda or in crystallized idiots. Muda means idiot. What did you think? Just because it is in Sanskrit, it does not mean anything fancy. Muda means stupid or foolish or idiot. Okay. Another thing is there. If you tell the stupid, etc. in English, it feels something nice because we are hearing it in English. 
somebody says you are foolish in some indian language you feel very bad about it okay so atyantam not just stupid atyantam uda means it is like a crystallized idiot means crystallized idiot means in tamil there is a closer phrase vadigatna muttal foolish person filtered fool <laughs> the literal translation will be filtered foolish person filtered fool but the english parallel is crystallized idiot how does an idiot get crystallized i don't know but that is the usage so atyanta mooda naam means people general people are all foolish hmm shankaracharya has this insight you see he says mooda mate bhaj govindam bhaj govindam bhaj govindam mooda mate so all these people who are foolish what do they do annamayam shariram anatmanam atyanta moodanam aatmatvena prasiddham among them this not self sharira this not self means which is not truly atman which is not truly brahman that body which is annamayam which is full of food actually created by food full of food that body annamaya kosha is popularly understood to be atman so somebody says who are you yeah i am this they will take one selfie and send you on whatsapp see this is what i am uh, ramana maharshi did not know that good person he went away earlier nowadays if today ramana maharshi had come and he asked the question who are you means immediately you will get one bling on whatsapp message hey, this look this is what i am so because prasiddham atyanta mooda naam prasiddham and ramana maharshi would also have sent one emoji like that like thinking emoji he would have sent what has happened prasiddham so anudya translating that or interpreting it how to interpret it mushan nishikta druta tamaradi mushan means in a caste nishikta put poured druta tamra druta means liquefied tamra tamra means copper copper melted copper is poured in a cast so when a statue is made or something is made then first the person the sculptor makes a cast and then pours whatever metal is required into that and so that particular then when the cast is removed that thing is ready then they do the polishing etc so that musha mushan nishikta musha means that cast 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 means c a s t cast that cast in which you put so that frame in which you put druta tamradi pratima vat so just like a person is making a statue an image by pouring melt molten copper into a cast so this molt molten copper is poured into a cast just like that tata anantaram tata tata antaram tata antaram ityeva so inside that inside that so if you pour molten copper in a cast so molten copper is inside the cast suppose there was something inside that molten copper then that will be inside tatah antaram tatah antaram so inside that inside that like that that is the idea so here also purvena purvena samanam uttaram uttaram anatmanam atma iti grahet <coughs> purvena purvena samana just like in the previous layers 
சமானம் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் பூர்வேன பூர்வேன இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் லேயர்ஸ் உத்தர உத்தரம் 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 அனாத்மானம் ஸோ சிம்பிள் அன்னமய கோஷா பிராணமய கோஷா மனோமய கோஷா ஸோ இட் ஆர் லைக் ஷீட்ஸ் ஒன் அமாங் தி அதர் ஸோ த ப்ரீவியஸ் ஷீத் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நாட் செல்ஃப் தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஷீத் ஆல்சோ இஸ் நாட் செல்ஃப் பட் எவ்ரிதிங் இஸ் கன்சிடர்ட் ஆத்மானம் ஆத்மானம் இதி ஆத்மா இதி கிராஹயத் the previous sheath previous covering which is not self is also treated as self grahet understood as self and the next which is also not self is also understood as self before pranamaya there is annamaya after pranamaya there is manomaya manomaya is also understood as self pranamaya annamaya is also understood as self pranamaya also same thing with manomaya before manomaya pranamaya after vigyanamaya so vigyanamaya is also understood as self and pranamaya also is understood of self as self whereas neither of these none of these five sheets are actually atma so pratipatti saukarya apekshaya so this is how atyanta mooda crystallized idiots this is how they understand so now what to do see if vedanta has to be told how it has to be told oh idiots like that it has to be told but nobody will listen because they will immediately antagonize they will immediately understand oh ho oh, oh, ho this person does not like us this person hates us but that is not the thing because this was told by shankaracharya himself bajagovindam 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 moodamati oh idiots you praise god so that is why there is another way of telling it what that i don't see your idiocity i see i idiocy i see your divinity in essence you are divine you are not realizing it now but in essence you are divine truly you are divine that's what swami vivekananda said he said sisters and brothers of america many people say oh because he said sisters and brothers people were very happy that's a foolish thing to say because when swami ji said that it was a custom in us and other european countries to say sisters us is not a european country us and europe to say sisters and brothers it was a custom there that's what swami ji followed and he said it is not because of that that people stood up and started clapping applause applauding they did that because they felt the connect so that is what is important swami ji saw swami ji could see the connection that everything is brahman there is only brahman or in sri krishna's word that in the heart of everybody divinity or lord is there so either we have to tell like that we means a person who has realized brahman has to tell like that or that person has to that that upadesha or desh deshika the teacher has to either say the, like that or that person has to say come down to the level of the taught and say like this so that's what is being told here that that upanishadic statement pratipatti saukarya apekshaya expecting saukarya convenience of pratipatti of presenting this topic of what of the true atman sarvantaram mukhyam anandamaya atmanam upadideshayati shrishtataram this this is how first it talks about all the koshas and then it talks about sarvantaram sarvantaram mukhyam anandamaya atmanam upadideshayati upadidesha iti it talks about or it teaches upadidesha it teaches what mukhyam anandamaya atma it talks about the main that means true atman true self which is mukhyam 
which is Brahman, which is Anandamaya, blissful. So this is what Iti Shlishtadaram. This, this will be the most logical conclusion. This will be the most logical conclusion. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu